Welcome to the Albert and Billy Show, everyone. Right here on WUAT Radio and Channel 18 BTC Fiber TV. And also, don't forget to check us out on BTC Fiber YouTube page. Um, all the original shows, all of our episodes are on there, and all the episodes of all the original BTC Fiber shows are on there. So get on there, subscribe, like, comment. All that good stuff, folks. We do appreciate that. Uh, let's see here, Pop Pop. Well, first off, how are you doing today? Pretty good for an old fellow. <laughs> what was it? You used to say some fire to Midland. Fire to Midland. Yes, I, I don't. I've, I've dropped that. You I've have, been. but the first time I ever heard that expression was from you, and I did not know what you were talking about. I I pulled that on Joel Stanifer one time, and he <laughs> said, Albert, what does that mean?" <laughs> <laughs> I didn't have a clue what it meant. I get it, it kind of means just kind of okay, don't it? It's no, it, it really is a term used in grading cotton. <laughs> <laughs> don't ask me how or why, because I didn't really grade any cotton. But it was <laughs> uh, it was a pickup of where I got it from old fellows. Okay. They would always so say sad. I'm fair to men, meaning I'm about six one half a dozen the other. Right. So it's kind of somewhere in the middle. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. That's what it sounded like it meant. Just want to make sure. <laughs> oh, me. Okay. Well, we want to wish some people happy birthday, of course. Yeah. These are birthdays for this week. Uh, one is tomorrow and one's today. Today, Mr. Chester Brock has a birthday. So happy birthday, Chester. I bet he's 40. I bet he is, too. <laughs> And tomorrow, uh, Jan Frechette has a birthday, so happy birthday, happy early birthday, I guess, to Jan Frechette. Uh, Donna Roberts had a birthday yesterday. Happy birthday, Donna. Gary Swalford had one on the 7th, Wednesday. Happy birthday to Gary. And also, happy birthday to Stacy Watson and Leanne Morris. Leanne Lowe in school. Uh, so Stacy and Leanne, happy birthday to you ladies too. Theirs was on Tuesday, December the 6th. And I probably didn't get to say this one last week because we filmed at the Redbird Manor, but also uh, happy birthday to Matthew Dashke because I didn't get to say that last week. His was on the 1st, December the 1st. So happy birthday to Matthew, Stacy, Leanne, Gary, Donna, Chester, and Jan. Hope all y'all had having or will have a great birthday <laughs> that's pretty good one it? <laughs> it's an important uh plateau for a person to reach mm -hmm. uh at, at any age because yeah, you look celebration. forward to that day that you were born people were celebrating you you know whatever everybody's nice to you on your birthday <laughs> or they should be anyway shouldn't yeah. they yeah. <laughs> uh we also want to remind folks, um, you can listen to the game tonight if you want to, um, or go to the game if you don't get out, you know, if you don't get out to the game though tonight, folks, it is a home game, and it, it, we're playing Sequatchie County, our tribal, right off the bat, Papa. That is rivalry. Big time, and it's, we usually don't play them this early. Uh, actually, we never play them this early. I've never seen where we play Squ we play Sequatchie County both times by December 16th. We've played them twice, and that's it. Wow. That's never happened. Unless you meet them in the playoffs. Right. Yeah, that'd be the only way. So the game is uh, here, though, folks. It's a home game. Starts at 6 o'clock. Uh, but if you don't you know, make it to the game, you can listen to the game here on WUAT. Michael had the call for you. Uh, once again, tip-off is at 6 o'clock for the Lady Warriors and the Warriors. Right off the bat, our tribal Squatchy County. Yeah. That'll be interesting. Never yeah. play that early, you know, so that, that'll be a nice change. Hopefully a nice change. <laughs> uh, we got plenty of announcements, of course, Pop Pa. So we'll uh, get started with that. Pop Pa will be telling you all about his... Uh, play this weekend we'll talk about that in a minute where he's the narrator 
for the, I don't know how many a time, seems like the 20th time at least, <laughs> you've narrated a lot. <laughs> so you must be a good narrator, Papa. No, they just don't want me to sing. <laughs> That's pretty good, but I didn't say it, folks. <laughs> you can't be blaming me on that one. <laughs> well, of course, we have a lot of holiday things going on, Papa. Uh, so we'll mention some of these to you guys. Um, it's a busy month. Very busy month. Yeah, I got a lot of Christmas events to tell you about. Of course, uh, and, and you'll be telling us about some light up Christmas events uh, here in a minute as well. So we got an update on that for you guys. Uh, we'll start out though with, let's see, Coast Springs, they always, always have a good Christmas play. Very good. And uh, it's, it's real, I was telling you off camera, but it's it's wrote by D. Lockhart every year. She literally writes this play. I mean, it's a different play every year. This year, it's called Bethlehem in 2022 and why? That's the name of the play this year. And as I said, it'll be at Cold Springs First Baptist Church. It'll be this Sunday, December 11th, uh, 6 p.m. Doors open at 5.45, though. So it starts at 6, but doors open at 5.45. And, of course, everyone is welcome to come and be blessed. So uh, if you've never seen a Christmas play at Cold Springs First Baptist Church, I would highly recommend it. I've yes. been to a few, and they're really good. Uh, also on December the 11th, this Sunday, we'll have a live nativity scene. This will be at the Mount Crest United Methodist Church. It's, it's at 6 p.m. also. You can come experience a live nativity at Mount Crest United Methodist Church, which is Highway 30 West. Uh, it's literally right beside Wheeler Elementary School. Can't miss it. Uh, it's a, a children's puppet program. Uh, follows by uh, Joyce Carroll, so she's going to be there. Joyce Carroll and storyteller uh, Sharita Black, and a special guest appearance by Santa is planned too. So, full evening. Uh, yeah, big time. So that's two big things right there off the bat on this Sunday. Uh, let's see. Also, we need to remind people that Toys for Tots is still going on. <laughs> <clears throat> uh, this is the sheriff's department. They uh, they annually do a toy drive. It's called Toys for Tots, and it's to give kids uh, presents and food that normally wouldn't get it. You know, uh, it's this one and the one that Cliff does. You know, are two really big ones that, that happens each year. So, uh, but the Toys for Tots, the Butsil County Sheriff's Department, they need you to start calling in. And leaving information about the kids who need Christmas gifts this year, the number to call is 447-2197, and then you hit extension 450. You, they'll ask you to leave a message, and they want you to say the child's sex, age, address, and phone number. You'll be able to pick up the toys at the fairgrounds next, be next weekend, December 15th and 16th from 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. each day. If you only want a food box, please leave address and phone number. That is a tremendous thing that Cliff is doing and uh, also the Sheriff's, Sheriff's Department, Department. Mm -hmm. because with this accessibility mm -hmm. for any child's name in Bledsoe County to be turned in, exactly, there is no excuse for a child to go without a toy. You this got year. that right. No there, excuse. There's not. Uh, I agree with that because uh, they're both really big uh, events that they do for, for kids and you're right, there's really no excuse for a child not to have uh, a toy and, uh, and a family should never be going without food. So I always want to call that out and help anybody in need. Uh, also, let's see, well this runs into uh, you, Papa. But I'll uh, get it started, I guess. Uh, Born is the King is what you're going to be narrating. Noel. Noel. Born is the King. To be presented. Noel is the first Christmas. Mm, that is right. No I always forget that. 
it's important it is that, that we remember this is the christmas season and you hear oh, that yeah. song noel mm -hmm. and and you get to thinking how many people will sing that song and don't even know what it means <laughs> wow that's so true yeah <laughs> i'd say a heck of a lot of people <laughs> including me sometimes i forget that a lot i did know that though but i do forget it and i don't you're right i don't think a lot of people are aware of it i don't really know what language that is in no but no. that's what it means first christmas wow or it just means christmas but it's it is the first christmas is what people are re reliving yeah exactly i'm sure it will be good uh it kicks off tonight tonight at 6 30. okay and tomorrow night i'm assuming it is it 6 30 each night yes okay so it's going to be tonight tomorrow night and sunday right so you're going to be a busy man papa narrating uh, i will be and yeah you'll get see papa there he'll be telling the story he'll be the narrator and this is always a good well it's a katata it's always really good too and it's always different each year too isn't it it's a different one each each mm -hmm. week, each year and uh many of the songs are familiar songs that yeah. you that god rest your merry gentlemen that's uh, a good one. Oh, holy night that's a real good one. Oh, uh, let me tell you that old holy night when they get to singing that this old boy gets to cry that's <laughs> it uh, is a very good song it really is but uh it, it is it's a uh, there's always new songs uh that get introduced in whoever writes this cantata and it, okay it, there was a man and a woman and a man and wife that wrote the songs right and it's uh they're they're telling the story of the first christmas and oh, in wow. doing that they bring in the angels and they bring in the shepherds and they bring in the wise men and and usually you have the mary and joseph coming in on a donkey and wow you know, and it's it's a beautiful thing that is and then that's going all out you know it's, it's definitely worth uh seeing that's for sure and uh i'll also mention though too before i have you do your announcements uh i can't forget about these well actually well actually, right now radio listeners uh, well no no never mind i'll take it back it ended it too citizens bank had their uh, christmas open house today yes i, I, I it didn't was good. get to go i was yeah. working down at the church well i got a plate of it it's really good really <laughs> yes it is well and next week uh the 16th of the first farmers and commercial banks christmas open house folks uh you're of course cordially invited and you can register to win a hundred dollars uh it'll be from 9 a.m to 3 p.m and they'll have refreshments so uh Come check it out, and heck, you might win a hundred dollars. I might go. I might go to that. We might. <laughs> That'll motivate some people. I guarantee it. And uh, also, want to mention uh, the Christmas Eve candlelight service that will be held at Bible United Methodist Church. Uh, it will be at 6 p.m. on Christmas Eve candlelight service. Those are always uh, unique. You know, it, the candlelight services, they're different. They're meaningful. They are, yeah. Man, yeah, that's a good word to describe it. It yeah. is. Well, Papa, uh, you've got some stuff to tell us, don't also you? Also at the United Methodist Church on December the 18th, mm -hmm. they're having a, a singing service called Christmas Sing, and it will be held by the Ministerial Association. Okay. And, uh what they're trying to do is uh, build up the funds for the Blitzville County Food Bank. Oh, it's for a good cause then. And so uh, following the sing, there's going mm -hmm. to be fellowship and refreshments, soups and treats, and that will be in their fellowship hall down at the Pikeman United Methodist Church here on Main Street. All right. That's December the 18th. Sounds good. Uh, that will be a week from tomorrow night. A week from Sunday, I'm assuming. Is it, or is it on Sunday or a December? Yeah, it'd be on Sunday. Day okay. 10th. So not too far away. Also, uh, there will be uh, there will not be the festivities that were scheduled tomorrow night, 
by the uh, Light Up Pikeville Committee, which is composed of Jeff and Lola. Mm-hmm. Uh, I guess last Jeff week. Jeff Henry and, yeah. and, and Lola Sales, uh, because of the likelihood of ill-favored weather. And uh, so there will be a complete cancellation of the movie and all activities that were scheduled for tomorrow evening and tomorrow night will mm-hmm. be canceled. Well, that's a bummer. But also on the courthouse lawn on Sunday afternoon. That's not canceled. That is not canceled. It will be a time of people getting together and just singing Christmas carols. That time will be 1.30 p.m. here on the courthouse lawn. And they, they do want a good crowd for that. And they did have a good crowd for that last year. It's, uh, let me tell you, in, in reference to our cantata that we're having down at the First Southern Baptist Church, mm-hmm. we have about 50 voices in our choir. Dang. Not all of those are Southern Baptists. Not all of those are members of oh, our yeah. church. Oh, yeah, they, they so reached out to each these church. Are, these are guest talents that come to us cool. wanting to sing. And, and uh, Oh, I didn't know that. I like we that. Have, uh, several people that have come to our church just to participate in getting to sing in the cantata that uh, their church is not having one and they want to sing. Well, that's great. And that, they've, that's got, to. they've got a talent. Let me tell you, they're, there were times I thought they lifted our roof. <laughs> just practicing. <laughs> I thought... <laughs> Now that's a heck of a promotion right there, Papa. <laughs> One day, this is the truth. I kid you not. I okay. was working at uh, Artie Robertson Grocery Store, mm-hmm. and we had a terrible storm to come through. Oh, Mr. Pratt owned a, that building has been demolished. Oh yeah, yeah. But Pratt Farm Store was across the street from us. Mm-hmm. I saw the roof lift off that building. Wow. And it. Uh, raised, raised up just about I don't know six inches and then settled back down <laughs> the same day it crushed in the driving window at First National Bank oh dang wow that's powerful wind that is powerful wind <laughs> you got that right and you saw it all I, and I have not forgotten <laughs> I'd say not <laughs> That would be pretty dang memorable, Papa. <laughs> there are some other things in my lifetime that I can remember. Um, yeah. Oh, yeah. I know you can. But it, at my age, let's not get into that. <laughs> <laughs> It'd take too long to me tell all that. And you did, uh, you did this uh, not long ago, didn't you? The Putnam Reed Candlelight Christmas. I got to do that Monday night, and okay. it was a, a, a moving service. I bet. I'm sure. A moving service. I'm sure there's several people there for that. And, and it's a good... See, they couldn't do it last year because of mm-hmm. the COVID. And so this year, they called off all the names of the peop- the families... Mm-hmm. Uh, the pe- the deceased person, the their name was called year. out for uh, last year and this year. Oh yeah. yeah, and so they had a candlelight service, and they got their name was the their oh, name okay. was put on a tree down there, and it was a. I bet that was nice. It's good. Let me tell you, death is a process. Yeah, and everybody grieves differently. It, it and it's not something that's uh, here and in, in, in gone tomorrow. No, of course it, not. Uh, some people let it linger and linger and linger. True. So the yeah. the funeral home is uh, a major factor yes. in helping a person deal with this uh, process of death. Yes, of death. I agree with that. They are. They I are. Have, uh, in those ten years that I was there, from ninety-five mm-hmm. to two hundred five, I helped bury over a thousand people. Wow! I helped bury over a thousand people. Man, that's I did not know that. From an eighteen-month-old baby to mm. a, a man that was some somewhere over one hundred years old. Wow. That yeah. That, I mean, somebody has to do it, you know what I'm saying? But not just anybody can, can do those jobs, that, you know, they can't. Uh, when Mr. Reed offered that job to me, I, I, I did not want to take it. <laughs> I bet. And, and I, I, bet. Didn't, I didn't take it. I, I, waited, first, yeah. I waited three weeks. 
mm -hmm. waiting for something else to fall in my lap than, <laughs> than I could do in the grocery business. You know, but it ended up working out good because, you know, you enjoyed your time down there and you were there to, to you comforted people a lot. And that, that is, so when you say the funeral home is a powerful part of that process, it's very true. It's very true. Uh, uh, you're comforting people well, in a time of need. Carolyn's been dead uh, nine years this 18th of this month, and mm -hmm. they helped me deal with that. The, the professionalism, mm -hmm. uh, and and uh, and immediately as soon as Carolyn died, I called the funeral home. Mm -hmm. They're the ones that you call whenever you are experiencing that problem yeah. in your life, and and you leave the results up to them. That's true. And and they handle it in such a professional way. They've dealt with it before and they're helping right. you deal with it. That's exactly right. I've seen I have seen people come into the funeral home when a, a family member died and they were so reserved mm -hmm. about dealing with death that they couldn't even go into the selection room to pick out a casket. Oh, wow. They had to have a friend to do that for them. Wow. And so it is a harsh mm. time in the life of a family for a loss of a family member to take place. And and the funeral home, that's one of the things they do. Yeah. And that's what this service was about Monday. Well, I'm glad they do that. That's something that, that needs to happen. So it I, I'm, is glad, good. I'm glad it really they've done is good. that. Well, Papa, it is trivia time. I happen to have some. <laughs> I happen to have some. Well, I thought you might. I thought you might. <laughs> uh, if you were to hear blank, meeny, miny, mo, what would be the missing? Uh, any, many, miny, mo. Any. Catch a tiger bites, so. though. <laughs> so you remember that? I mean, well, I remember that part at least. <laughs> but I just jotted that down. <laughs> But I thought you would remember that part. I do, yeah. If I left out any one of those words, you would have got the Oh, other yeah. Way. Oh, yeah. That, that, yeah, that's a popular one. Now, there. suppose you get married. Mm -hmm. Where do you put the wedding ring on the, your mate's what? Oh, I don't know. Well, the ring finger. Or the ring finger, which is the ring finger. I knew you'd do that. You uh, you tell us. <laughs> it's, it's this on, finger right it's here. It's on the left hand. <laughs> Yeah. And it's the next to the it's last It's almost finger. by the pinky finger. <laughs> All right. It is by the pinky finger, isn't it? Don't ask me why I asked that question. <laughs> <laughs> well, what's the next one? Who do you pay on April the 15th? Oh, the IRS. The IRS. Yeah. What does the IRS stand for? <laughs> I could say something funny. <laughs> Internal Revenue Service. Internal Revenue Service. <laughs> yeah. And let me tell you, if you don't pay them on April the 15th, mm -hmm. they, will, they will try you to get <laughs> their sure best will. to get you to pay. <laughs> they sure will. <laughs> okay. What is the name of artificial butter? Hmm. Well, dang it. That's a little tricky. Margarine? All right. Margarine. I totally guessed at that. What's the short term for margarine? Oh wow. Oh Leo. Oh I'd have never guessed that. <laughs> I'd have never guessed that. When it came out, I remember when it first came out, it was oh, white. Really? And you had to add a, a pill to make it yellow. <laughs> what about that? Yeah. And I can remember the first time Carolyn and I went to Wisconsin, we watched them make cheese. Cheese, yeah. And it was in a huge vat that probably held 500 gallons of milk. And you had these whisk going through that and stirring that milk, mm. and it was making cheese. Wow! I said, "Why is it white?" They said, "It's made out of milk. All cheese is yeah. white until you color it." That is, yeah. You know, people don't think about that. I never had yeah. thought about it. I, I thought, well, why don't you make yellow cheese? <laughs> they said, "We will turn it yellow later." <laughs> Okay. <laughs> what organization puts up most wanted pictures in a post office? Uh, FBI. FBI. Yeah, the top ten most wanted. Yeah. They mm -hmm. they want you to be aware of the fact that somebody's wanted. Yeah, and uh, if they're on the 
that list, they're extremely dangerous. All right. And sometimes they will put up their name, but mm -hmm. they'll put up AKA. Yeah, because, yeah, that's right. They have a lot of aliases and the fake aliases. names. Yes, that's a what common. What does AKA stand for? I really don't know. You the one told me. Did I? No, I can't remember. <laughs> AKA. Also. Oh, also known as. Also yes, known as. Yes, that's the alias. Yes, that's right. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> That's the name they put on some of the bogus things they sign. Yeah, they, they sure do. <laughs> All right. Suppose uh, I, back when one of my children was a baby, and mm -hmm. and some uh, some people came in and took my baby, and they kidnapped my baby. What oh, would, um, what would they demand from me? Oh, uh, well, a lot of kidnappers and, and they'll kidnap uh, any family member if that family has a lot of money they want ransom ransom yeah they want a ransom uh, mm. ransom yeah, of sure red do. ransom of red cheap is one thing that I remember, remember <laughs> reading <laughs> and and this, I've never heard of that yeah the, and this man said one time that if uh, that some men uh, stole his wife <laughs> and he said, I think what I'll do, I'm just going to let him keep it. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. <laughs> okay. In the movie and in the book, Gone with the Wind, Margaret Mitchell wrote Gone with the Wind, I think in 1939 was when the movie wow. hit. Uh, what was the name of Mr. Butler and Clark Kent? Uh, Clark Gable played that role. Mm. What was Mr. Butler's first name? Oh man! Um. And he's the one that said, "Frankly, my dear, I don't give a damn." I mean, <laughs> I was thinking back trivia, Papa. <laughs> I did catch myself at the end. <laughs> Dang it, Papa! But you remember what he said, but you don't remember his name. Uh, the actor's name uh, or the, the actor's character? name was Clark, Clark Gable, Gable, but his name well, he was on. Mr. Butler. But what was Mr. Butler's first name in uh, the movie? The, okay, the the woman's name was Scarlett. Scarlett right? O'Hara. What? Was my lifeline no? But dang. The uh, name of the farm was uh, uh, Tara. Yeah. Uh, what was his name? I keep thinking of his name, Papa. That's what Pam McBain named her daughter. Tara. Oh, from Tara Farms. Wow. Tara. Uh, his name Brett. was Rhett. Rhett. Oh, man. <laughs> that you was close. Was close. <laughs> Rhett Butler. That was a complete guess. All right. <laughs> what is the abbreviation? <laughs> this is crazy, but uh, all of these are crazy. <laughs> what is the abbreviation for teaspoon? In recipes, oh yeah. you put in a teaspoon of ginger. What is the abbreviation for teaspoon? T e a s p o o n. You don't. You do. No. You gotta abbreviate that somewhere. True. Um. Hmm. T s. T s what? <laughs> P. Yeah. Oh, good. <laughs> I'm proud of you, Billy. That was a guess too. <laughs> you got all of them. No way. Wow. That's all of them. <laughs> You tricked me pretty good there. <laughs> I thought I was still doing trivia there for a second. <laughs> but anyway, well, I'm proud of myself on that because it's not be. easy. You to ought get, to be. It's not easy to get Papa's trivia, folks. Let me tell you, it's not. Those were just all over the board. They were. <laughs> That's I what should, you call random. They uh, were very random. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I guess I guess I just shot a shotgun in this. I know. <laughs> well, coming up after the break, folks, we'll have uh, some sports of all sorts. We've got a lot of sports. Yeah, because it's uh, well, I mean, the big things, bowl games kicking off and all that good well, stuff. I Conference think the, championships. The first bowl game, the bowl game, the first, the first one I think is December the fifteenth. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, and then it's just nonstop. Through you know through January, I don't have many bowls. There are probably 30, there's a lot. Probably thirty, at, at least, at least. So and we'll uh, we'll tell you where Tennessee is going to be playing and who their opponents going to be and all that good stuff. 
and we'll have some good old Albertology and jokes as well. So stick around, folks. That's all coming up next, right after the break. Welcome to the Dunlap Mercantile, located in the heart of the beautiful Sequatchie Valley at 15664 Rankin Avenue in Dunlap, Tennessee. Stop in today for some Mayfield ice cream or a cup of community coffee, and if you're interested in renting this venue for your event, call 423-949-2552. Stay tuned to DunlapMercantile.com for concerts and events coming to the Dunlap Mercantile in 2021. God bless. Welcome back, folks, to the Albert and Billy Show. You're listening to us here on WUAT Radio. And you can watch us, as always, on Channel 18, BTC Fiber TV. You're watching us on there and on BTC Fiber YouTube page. So you can learn to check all that good stuff out. I want to thank our sponsors, of course. I'll quickly go through them. Uh, well, big thank you to the following people. Citizens Tri-County Bank, yes. Bilbury Insurance, Scotty's. The offices of Janine Boynton, Lisa Wheeler, and Michael Walker. I can't believe I've not messed up on that once yet. <laughs> but I haven't so far. Farm Bureau Insurance. Uh, go see Matt Massengill and his friendly staff for all your insurance needs down in South Pival by Putnam Reed Funeral Home, which is another sponsor. They're a sponsor now. I took some brownies down there. Good deal. Good deal. Uh, of course, Nickel Row Antiques. Right. Our literally our closest neighbor can't get any closer <laughs> no and of course as you've seen like they, they have a little bit of everything they have the variety is a very good word for it yes <laughs> morgan brothers uh and also the bank walker brewery and the venue and also uh, the morgan brothers they are also of course uh, other people are involved too but the Powell family restaurant's coming back and uh, they're doing that and it's been apparently it's been updated big time on really? the inside mm -hmm. they told me this yesterday it's going to open uh, in january well big deal yeah sure will yeah and they're going to have belgian waffles finally a place in pop it's <laughs> going to have belgian waffles, belgian waffles. <laughs> i love i like waffles and pancakes anyway but belgian waffles you don't see them everywhere they're good uh, also, a big thank you to State Farm Insurance, Nick Smith and his friendly staff over on the bypass. Took them some brownies, too. Did you? Or did you take Southern Pearl Florist Home Decor and Gifts some brownies? No, I didn't. <laughs> you have before, though, because she's told me. <laughs> I've been down there before. Uh, thank you to them. I did. I, I went in there. Did you? Okay. I was The reason Gina I thought was there. that, because you were in that area, because they're right next door to yeah, Nick. I I did do that. I, wa I walked from one to the other. <laughs> it's Lola's. Uh, well, you saw her last week on our show. It's Lola's. Her shop is right here on Main Street. Collier & Company Realty, Michelle Collier. Uh, Cindy Nipper with Remax. Uh, Dexter's Barbershop. The Butter Dish. Lee Station Baptist Church. Hilltop Meat, which is also right here on Main Street, right by Lola. And... Uh, Adriana and Seashore Getaway. Uh, she's booking a lot of cruises right now. Uh, she told me there's a lot of good deals on that. She can she can book you on a trip anywhere you want to go, folks. So check it out. And thanks to all of our sponsors. And yeah, sports is uh, a lot, and it, just in itself lately, isn't it? Well, it's bowl season. That's always a busy time. It is. It's a busy time, busy time. But a fun time, I will say. I like that time of year. If you're sports oriented. Yeah. So for me, it's great. Uh, <laughs> excuse me, did I hear sports? You did. <laughs> I was wondering <laughs> where you were you when you know when I hear sports, <laughs> I come running. What's you, oh. I can't wait to talk about sports and all oh, the yeah, statistics. Oh yeah, I know. Yeah. Where's Tennessee going, Gail? <laughs> 
<laughs> you you ain't been able to guess the ball, you? Got me you? There. <laughs> you know what I mean? I know they've got a team, okay? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I put you on the spot, didn't I? We're up in Florida. We'll talk it's about really that okay. in a minute. <laughs> it's, it's not my area. Well, it doesn't even bother me. <laughs> what do you have for us today? Oh, well, Christmassy. this is something that I want Albert to no. see. And maybe oh, wow. he could explain what this is. Oh, Those wow. are mine. <laughs> <laughs> they probably were yours. From 1942. <laughs> Isn't this the neatest thing? This is one of the Man, examples of That's really like... retro stuff that you can get here. Let me tell you No what. kidding. Let me tell you what I did. What'd you what? do? <laughs> I I'm took those, <laughs> one of the skates and cut it in half with a hacksaw. Really? And I put the wheels on the bottom of a board and yeah. I made a board, a skateboard. No way. That is you did. pretty Before cool. Before skateboards were ever invented. Well, dang, Papa. Wow. <laughs> you oh, my goodness. You could have been the creator of skateboard. <laughs> that is pretty neat. Yeah. Yeah, it is neat. So, it's also a bomber too. Guys. Look at the great price that is on these. Five oh, million dollars. Yeah. yeah. You couldn't have no. no. I bet they I bet they cost about five dollars back then. Back, back, back then, then yeah. probably. But they're yeah. vintage now, so it yeah. there'd be a lot more than that. Those I mean, have been I think people would get a kick out of seeing that under the tree they, just, just as a oh, decoration yeah. even or you know, just talking about But you know Yeah. Once you learn how, yes. you, you don't unlearn skating. Right. No. Uh, bicycle, you don't unlearn to ride a bicycle. Are you that saying weird, you could strap it? those on right now? Because <laughs> <laughs> I want to watch. I'd pay to see I it. I wouldn't want you to watch me. <laughs> well, that'd be great. That'd be great entertainment right there. <laughs> Well, and you want us to? We'll something. leave them here for the rest of the show. That's you good. want us to? Because okay, these are pretty cool course, looking, gal. Billy, I brought something for you. Oh, okay. Well, it's hard to top this, though, isn't oh, it? Oh well. This well, I've is, never this seen night them. Doing. Oh, you go. good old Frosty. All right, now, well, except what? that he oh, he's he home. plays music. So go ahead. And oh, he it. plays music. Okay. <laughs> 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 what is this? You can't listen to that without laughing. No, you cannot. Right? You, there's and he, no and way. He hangs around he's, and he lights up. I mean, my goodness. He's pretty. He can't How sing or flip, be? but he's pretty good. <laughs> I drew uh, six different scenes of Christmas cards that I sent out to people. Yes, yes. One of my favorites was a snowman that I drew. Oh my goodness. Yeah, you. Do, I've seen uh, several Frosties that you've done. Papa does great Christmas cards, folks. That is no lie. He is amazing. I'll let, well, y'all might have to set it up here. I don't want him to go. fall. Let his little arms look like they're I know. strangling. He <laughs> looks like he's in yeah. some pain. Can you kind of just loop them <laughs> over the microphone? I'm there sure that'll go. really do something for the sound. <laughs> <laughs> hey, there, now he's just kicked back and chilling. <laughs> now he looks like you in your Saturday mode. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Rousey's having a good old time, Papa. <laughs> a good time well, he has been had. You. <laughs> so welcome. I, can I just interject one little thing? Yes, this is so yeah. important. I just want you to know. Okay. <laughs> Earlier in the program, you were saying you were mm. saying some kind of direction, and you said my favorite my favorite phrase: "You can't miss it." Really? <laughs> Every time somebody says that to me. Every yeah. time I will miss it. Yeah. <laughs> it's like a it's a guarantee. <laughs> okay, great. It does a lot of people that way. Oh my gosh, it's so funny. It's yeah, so I know because when you find out you're like, Well dang it. Yeah. I should have saw it. Yeah. But I, I didn't I always say I a lot of times. It. Yeah. <laughs> I'll say too, like, well if it was been a snake it would have bit me. Yeah. I'll say that a lot too. No, if it had bitten you it would have been a snake. Well true. <laughs> <laughs> That's well, a good one too. Listen, I don't want to delay sports enough. Well, thank second. you though. So excited. To <laughs> thank you for real. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> yeah, so come check out. Uh, like I said, well, I said the perfect word for uh, Nick Row Antiques is variety, vintage variety. Oh, uh, there's a lot. Of, <laughs> it's just a little bit of everything, isn't it? 
It's, These skates uh, are pretty cool. That's crazy. It would take you a long time just to drift through this whole story. Yeah, it really take would. Take time to look at each exhibit. Oh yeah. Because these are put on by, from. by individuals. These are put here by individuals. Mm -hmm. And uh, I, I'd say Gail doesn't know what all they've got. I know because it's a lot. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> well. uh well, I did give a little bit of a clue for sports. So I've not given away yet where Tennessee's going. No. A little ironic, isn't it? Because the color and the team that they're playing. Going to be a lot of orange. Going to be a lot of orange at this game. Uh, <laughs> well, uh, Tennessee and Clemson. Yeah. It's, I mean, it's, it's going to be a lot of orange. And that's two teams with some nostalgia. Yeah, in. it's going to be a great with, game. Uh, with the resume, with the reputation. Yeah, let's face it. There's two teams that, that easily, they have the talent to be playing for the national championship. These That's two teams that could be in the playoffs easily. It's very uh, interesting to note, too, that the team that will cause both of them to miss the playoffs is South Carolina. And it happened in a one-week span, basically. Successive they beat weeks. Tennessee. Successive yeah. weeks. Beat Tennessee and then beat Clemson the next week. And now Tennessee and Clemson are playing in the Orange Bowl. But uh, <laughs> Clemson is riding a wave of popularity right now, of mm -hmm. success right now, that Tennessee's not tasted in a long time. Oh, yeah. Clemson has two national championships in the last four years. I but mean, yeah. Tennessee is... Uh, they're, no they're, they're, they're getting the there. They're getting there. Tennessee is back, yes. The defense needs some work, absolutely, but they're on their way back. This was a great year. Well, this is only Josh Heffel's second season. Second season. He won seven games last year and won mm -hmm. ten so far this yeah. year. And it's possible uh, level. We really didn't think they would do They, I didn't think they'd be this good this quick. I didn't either. So he, they've overachieved, really. But now let's look at the four teams that will be competing for the national yeah. championship. You have one SEC team in Georgia. Georgia. You also have Michigan out of the Big Ten. Yeah, and Ohio State. And then you have Ohio State number four. In between there, you've got TCU. They shouldn't be there. I'm sorry. I've but heard, no offense to TCU, but uh, they shouldn't be there. They lost their conference some, championship. I've heard some prognosticators say they shouldn't be there. They should. You've got knocking on the door. You've got Alabama and Tennessee. Yeah, and and, and a Clemson like teams that. Well, let's face all three of those teams should be there over yeah, TCU. Yeah, but Clemson's number nine, Alabama's number six, oh, yeah, and Tennessee's number true. seven. Tennessee should be ahead of Alabama because they beat them. They beat Alabama. Yeah. I don't so that, understand that's, that. Uh, that's ridiculous. Uh, but anyway, uh, that, shot, that shot our theory down of the superiority of the SEC. We've only got no, one. No, it's still, it's, it's still a fact. It's just they made they didn't choose the right teams. They didn't. All right. To, to put... The Big Ten don't deserve two teams in there. To put you and Albert into mm -hmm. a, a brighter perspective, mm -hmm. we've got 11 out of 14 teams going bowling this exactly. year. Exactly. See, that tells everything you need that to know. That gives you an idea how strong the SEC is. It's, it's much stronger than any All, other conference in the country. I would think probably one thing that enhances the SEC mm -hmm. is not just that 6-6 six, six record that gets yeah. some of our teams into the bowl picture, yeah. but also it's the fan base. The fan base, the strength of schedule. Uh, all of that, but the bolsters, the people that put on these bowls, they, they want know fans. they they want the fans, and an SEC so, team will bring them. Well, most of the teams are in the SC, that are mm -hmm. in the SEC are located in the Southeastern Conference. I and mean, they have the huge fan bases. part of the United States. Yeah, and they do travel with like SEC fans show up. They want games. to go to a bowl. That, That's they, right. They, they, and they don't want to go in Tennessee. <laughs> no, they want to go somewhere different. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Georgia takes on Ohio State in the Fiesta Bowl. Georgia, I'm going to pick Georgia in that one. And Tennessee places uh, uh, Cle faces Clemson in the Orange Bowl. That's uh, both orange and the Orange Bowl. That's, that's Alabama. Orange. Alabama battles Kansas State. I don't remember what bowl they're in. 
Yeah, Kansas State is the team that beat TCU, though. Yeah, the Big 12 they, championship. And I really felt like TCU deserved to fall out of the playoffs then. I'm but. glad to see South Carolina playing a team of the stature of Notre Dame. They might just beat Notre Dame because they're, they're peaking the, at the right time. They're in the old Gator Bowl, Tax Slayer Gator Bowl. That's where yeah. they're going to be playing. And, Jacksonville. Uh, yeah, and mm -hmm. Kentucky takes on Iowa in the uh, hmm. Music City Bowl. That would be in Nashville. Now, that's the one that's the December the 31st. Okay. New Year's uh, Eve. And Kentucky is going to their seventh bowl in a row. That is, a, that's big for them. They're they're playing Iowa. I will, I've not watched Iowa this year. I don't think. I don't know anything about in the Big Iowa. Ten. In the Big Ten. But, all right, but and then uh, you've got uh, Florida taking on Oregon State. That's in the Las Vegas Bowl. That one could go either way. And that's on the nineteenth. Depends on which Florida shows up. They're streaky. They're capable. They're Very capable. capable. Yeah. Missouri with a 6-6 record takes on Wake Forest in the Gasparilla Bowl. Wow, Wake Forest in a bowl, that's uh, unusual. That's unusual, <laughs> that's unusual. It sure is. Uh, Arkansas and, Ken and Kansas, uh, both schools have a 6-6 record. They're going to be mm. playing in the Liberty Bowl last year. In that's, in that's in Memphis. Uh, well, I'll, I'll pick Arkansas on that well, you one. you got Music City and the Liberty Bowl, though. Both those are in Tennessee. Tennessee, yep. Mm -hmm. And so uh, then you've got LSU matching up with Purdue out of the Big Ten. Uh, LSU should win that one. They should. Mm -hmm. uh, LSU is going to be really hard to handle the next two or three years. They are a young team. If they get to flexing their muscles. They They're will. going to put some teams on the run. They are. All right, then Ole Miss takes part in the Texas Bowl on, versus Texas Tech. That's on oh, December wow. the 28th. Well, I'll pick Ole Miss in that one. But you know what? I didn't ever uh, catch the ending of the Egg Bowl, which is, you know, Ole Miss and Mississippi State. And I can't remember who won it. It was close, but I don't even remember who won it. It had to be Miss Ole Miss. I believe they did win it. I don't have a record of that. Yeah. Yeah, I just wonder if you might remember. Mississippi State <laughs> takes on Illinois. What's their bowl? In the Quest Bowl. Okay. And then uh, you've got uh, those other two, the Michigan and the TCU, they're facing each other. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. I do believe Michigan will win that. I believe they will, too. Mm -hmm. Okay, the American uh, Athletic Conference, uh, Tulane mm -hmm. played the uh, University of Central Florida. Tulane used to be in the ACC. Mm -hmm. and, in called, and Central Florida is uh, our coach's old stomping grounds. Yeah. But Tulane won 45, and Tulane is called the Green Wave. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I like that. I didn't know if you'd remember that. Mm -hmm. And in the SEC Championship, Georgia took on uh, LSU, LSU mm -hmm. 30 to 50, 50 to 30. Yeah, literally 50 to 30. It, and it, the Big Ten, uh, Michigan put Purdue under. The, uh, the Big Ten final, the, uh, okay. 43 to 22. And uh, Clemson won over North Carolina, thirty-nine to ten in, in the, the ACC, ACC championship. In the Big Twelve, it was Kansas State over TCU. That's right. It was close, but Kansas State beat them. Thirty-one to twenty-eight. Mm-hmm. It come uh, down to the, to the last seconds, but uh, Hooper still. made all SEC. Well, he should. And Wright That's, and Young. Well, they all deserve to be on there. Hooker. He, now I'm telling you, he would be winning the Heisman if he didn't get injured. Your Heisman candidates. You have Bennett. You have Dugan, you have Stroud, and you have Williams. But he would have been in there, though, if he had uh, not Yeah. Um, I don't know. I don't know who will win it now. I, I think, really don't. I think maybe, maybe Bennett will. Good. Well, yeah. Yeah, good possibility because of the year they've had. They're uh, an unbelievable year. Did you watch Tennessee play basketball this year? Yeah, they the boys are playing good. They're eight and one right now. They uh, ever since that loss to Colorado, they've they've amped it up big time. They took on uh, uh, Eastern, Eastern Kentucky, Kentucky and and handled beat it. it beat eighty nine to forty nine. Oh yeah, yeah. In the Pine Paul Fine Bone Show uh, mm -hmm. one night this week, it said the most passionate fan base that follows your team 
Mm -hmm. These uh, number one was Notre Dame. Oh, okay, I didn't know that. And Notre Dame has done it without being in a conference. Mm -hmm. Their fan base is throughout the United States. I, I mean, I'm kind of surprised at that. I, I mean, I knew too. they were popular, but I would have thought number and, one. And Kentucky, but basically that's... I think basketball. Basketball. Then. Yeah. And the Buckeyes. I get that. Ohio State, yeah. And uh, the Razorbacks in the SEC. Surprised by that one. And then, I figured Tennessee would be on there. Well, then the last one said just about any SEC state. Yeah, That's true. That's true. It really is. The big news all week long has been Brittany Griner. Yeah, uh, she is back. She's ridiculous. back in the United States. She's and, back, but uh, she's uh, that should hospital. not have happened. I mean, I hate that she's going through what she's going through, but when, if you just look into the deal that was made, and you'll see what I'm talking about. Terrible deal. Terrible. Well, she was in prison for 294 days mm -hmm. in Russian prisons, detained for 294 mm -hmm. days, uh, but. And they she was swapped though for a really, really well, bad guy. <laughs> uh, <laughs> That's no business being free. This this agent's name was uh, Victor Bout, mm -hmm. B O U T, and that's uh, that was the best that the United States could get. But the United States uh, wanted to get two Americans for this man that he was uh, he was big deal he he is I can't believe they've done it uh, it's unreal well unreal. it took them that long to get them to do it but mm -hmm. but the United States kept on trying to get two and then finally mm -hmm. they uh, they surrendered and they said well okay we'll swap one for one and so Russia went along with that yeah yeah well yeah they did I mean it definitely wasn't a even trade by no means uh, like I said, just look into the guy that was traded and you'll see. <laughs> well, I think that uh, our president had pledged that he would get Brittany Griner. And he, must he, have. Finally, he finally decided the best thing to do, if I can get her one for one, I'll go ahead and do that. But yeah. he wanted to get that other man. That, well, let's face it, he didn't decide it. He can't complete a sentence, but somebody decided it. Yes. So somebody made up a mind <laughs> Somebody did. But, but yeah, I, I did see that, though. I'm sure she's very grateful. <laughs> well, she's in the hospital right now. Mm -hmm. Bless her heart. <laughs> she's been through a lot. She has. She has. I'm not going to well, have that's... that much pity for her. But, yeah, she has been through a lot. Nobody deserves that, you know, treatment. But so many people besides her get done this way. So I hope it brings attention to that. If all right. Anything else. That's all the sports. Yep, I kind of figured that. <laughs> Are you ready for Albertology? Yeah, but what? Uh, you know, the Lady Vaz, uh, boy, they're off to. They're struggling. Ooh, I don't want to go there. <laughs> uh, I mean, they're they're they won yesterday, but uh, I know a lot of it was injuries cause of Horston, but she's back now, so they they should start winning. We'll have to keep an eye on that. Well, we'll have to wait and see what happens. Mm -hmm. All right, Albertology. What? <laughs> I, I have an English lesson to begin with. Oh, great. Back to school. <laughs> <laughs> our language, our English language, is uh, the hardest language to learn. That's what? That's I, what I've always heard. You, I'm going to give you a good example. You take the letters O-W. Mm -hmm. And... Uh, you begin in the beginning of our alphabet, there's 26 letters. So, yeah. in B, you add one B to O-W, and you've got bow, the O-W, the bow of a ship. Mm, yeah. Or you've also got a bow, yeah. bow and arrow. So that's what's Her hard bow. to learn. So how do you take B-O-W, and you have the bow of a ship, and you have the bow and a girl's hair? It is weird. It is. All right. You go to the alphabet and you go to C. You've got mm -hmm. a cow. C O W. <laughs> and then you've got H. How? Uh, uh, and then you've got D, the Dow Jones average. Yeah. 
He got N now. Well, no, wait, you've got H. You've got Al. Al. You've got L. Low. Low. Yeah. Yeah. And just think how, crazy, how you miss how you change the pronunciation by adding one letter. I know. M I see why it's is more, more mo. Yeah. Mow the lawn. Mow the yard. N you, you, it turns it now to instead now. of mow to now. Changes the sound. Right now. Mm-hmm. Uh, P O W. That's what you see in cartoons in the little balloon up there that shows your fist is hit. Oh yeah. Pow. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And you take R. It's now it's roll. Yeah. You roll your boat. Yeah. <laughs> or get your ducks in a row. Yeah. I've heard that many times. So S O W. So seeds. God, that is crazy. It's also, it's S O W, a female hog. Yeah. Sow. A sow. Mm. Isn't that, you just no take, wonder it's difficult for, for uh, people from other countries to learn then. T T O W. Toe. Toe. And T O E is toe. toe. <laughs> v V O W, vowel. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Yeah, it changes the sound like each time, don't it? Just and about. Then, and then W is wow. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Isn't that something, though? Uh, I just picked that one. Uh, yeah, I guess you couldn't go past W. No, I don't want to go past W. <laughs> All right. But I, I do get that, though, yeah. Uh, now then. Now. Then, I folks. spoke to you last week about... What part of an elephant was the largest? Yeah, yeah. And I was kind of surprised by the answer. All right. I said that it was the ears. You said it was the ears. Those elephant ears weigh 110 pounds apiece. Wow. That's, a, that's crazy. And that elephant has to carry those two <laughs> el those elephant ears, and that's 220 pounds. Poor elephant. Poor elephant. Uh, they're pretty big themselves, though. Their body's big. <laughs> now, let me ask you this question. Did you know that McDonald's uses 560 million pounds of beef in hamburgers each year? I did not. 560 million pounds of hamburger meat is used That's in crazy. McDonald's hamburgers. <laughs> so that makes the Big Mac bigger. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure it does. Now you that is a lot. Now, you wouldn't remember Fred Astaire. No, I've heard of him, though. But Fred Astaire was a, a movie actor. Who could dance or something. He was a dancer. Yeah. His feet were insured for $650,000. <laughs> By the movie producers, the, the people that, wow. that had him signed up. Because he was so valuable mm -hmm. in making those movies, <laughs> they insured his feet for six hundred fifty thousand dollars. <laughs> I didn't know that for sure. That's interesting. Uh, <laughs> uh, let me what see else now. What got there? If you can read that chicken scratch. <laughs> well, <laughs> can't read his own writing. Okay. <laughs> the experts say that you should go to bed. Did you know this? I did not know this. Okay. The experts say you should go to bed. If you miss 10 days without sleep, you'll die. God, can I can't imagine that, though. That's a long time. Can you imagine time. not sleeping in 10 days? No. You'd collapse. Yeah, you would. <laughs> you'd just, you'd be a zombie. You would be. Probably collapse after two or three days, I'm sure. All right. I didn't know that, no. Did you know this? Probably not. Government waste is exemplified in the Pentagon. There are 284 bathrooms. <laughs> I did not. <laughs> 284 bathrooms. Good grief. No, I didn't know that. All right. <laughs> We've just got a few more minutes, so let's do some jokes. Well, okay. <clears throat> Here's the problem. You know, got time for jokes. <laughs> Here's the problem with fruit. Fruit is inconsistent. Some is apples are delicious. Oh. Some are sour. Mm. 
sometimes blueberries are great and sometimes they're disgusting you don't ever know what the one's going to taste like you put it in your mouth blackberries the same true you know what's the same every time doritos <laughs> <Shoot>. <laughs> A woman approached me at the bank wanting to buy a savings bond for her granddaughter. Mm -hmm. Her granddaughter was going to get baptized and she wanted to buy a, a, a savings bond. Okay. So not for sure how much she wanted to spend, the bank teller said, well, what denomination? And she said, well, she's Protestant. <laughs> <laughs> That was pretty good. <laughs> I don't know what to say that one. <laughs> it must be a really good one then. <laughs> it's bottom. No, okay. Read that one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, a good one though. <laughs> At the Marine Corps Office <clears throat> Candidate School. An instructor told us how all the physical training they would put us through would come in handy later in life once we left the service. Okay. When we get through with you, you should be able to whip any civilian in a fight. <laughs> and if you can't do that, you can surely outrun him. <laughs> Good point. I just... <laughs> Now this is not our. This I'm reading this, and I remember. <laughs> I just swallowed a stack of scribble tiles. <laughs> oh man! My poop could still <laughs> spell disaster. <laughs> <laughs> oh man! Oh, it's me. <laughs> oh, it's this one. A man is arrested for stealing a can of peaches. Stealing a can of peaches? He was hungry. And he's brought before the judge. <laughs> and the judge says, how many peaches were in that can? He said, six. In that case, you'll go to jail for six days. Dang. <laughs> they mean business One, there, One day they? for each peach in that can. <laughs> and his wife was in the courtroom with him. And he, and he says, and she says, Judge, he stole a can of peas, too. <laughs> <laughs> she wanted to get rid of him for a few days. Yeah, she, she, six days wasn't enough. Now listen to this one. New Yorkers born mm -hmm. in bread in Manhattan. Mm -hmm. Their names were Larry and Jane, and they decided to buy a cattle ranch out in Wyoming to get away from the city sure that and all the well. hullabaloo about being in a big town. Yeah, don't blame them for that. So months later... They uh, had a friend to visit Wyoming, Was it and Wyoming? so he says, well, now what did you name your ranch that you bought? Well, at first we couldn't agree on anything, the new cowboy said, mm -hmm. but we finally decided on the double R, lazy L, trippy ho triple horseshoe bar seven lucky diamond ranch good lord <laughs> wow his friend was so impressed but he looked around and he saw no cattle he said where are all the cows none of them survived the branding <laughs> oh my god <laughs> Wow. A man, a man, this, this is cute. A man is standing on the curb preparing to cross the street. As yeah. soon as he steps down on the pavement, a car comes screeching toward him. The pedestrian picks up speed, but so does the car. Mm -hmm. The man turns around and hurries back to the sidewalk, but the car changes lanes and heads directly toward him on the sidewalk. Dang. The petrified pedestrian <laughs> freezes in the middle of the intersection. He doesn't know what to do. The car closes in on him and at the last possible second, screeches to a halt. The driver's side window rolled down and it revealed a squirrel <laughs> and the squirrel said see it's not so easy <laughs> <laughs> many many squirrels have found out they could not run that car right. <laughs> that is good <laughs> a man now this is the last one 
A man walks into a rooftop bar mm -hmm. and takes a seat. Mm -hmm. What are you drinking? He asked the guy next to him. Mm -hmm. And the guy said, magic beer. Magic beer? Oh yeah, what's so magical about it? <laughs> Watch, the guy said. He swigs some of the beer, walks over, dives off the roof, <laughs> flies around the building, and then returns to his seat and smiles at that man. Amazing, the man said. Let me try a drink of that beer. So he grabs the beer and slugged it down, <laughs> leaped off the roof, and went 15 stories down and hit the sidewalk. The bartender shook his head and he said, you know what, Superman, you're real nasty oh. <laughs> when you're drunk. <laughs> Did you hear that, yeah. I didn't hear the last time. It was Superman. The bartender oh. said, Superman, you sure are nasty when you're drunk. <laughs> That's pretty good. My poor guy. <laughs> It'd be hard to top that one anyway. <laughs> Those are good, Papa. Still on a roll. Still definitely on a roll. <laughs> oh my. <laughs> well, uh, thanks for joining us today, folks. Uh, next week we'll be back for our Christmas episode. Uh, but thanks for joining us today. Hang out with Frosty and these antique <laughs> skates here. Somebody <laughs> needs to get that. Somebody will get those though. That, that, that's pretty cool. But you don't, uh, I have not seen kids on skate. Long time, yeah. Now I think about it. Hey, Billy. Yeah. Hey, Mike. Yeah. Hang on. <laughs> <laughs> Scared you. <laughs> you sure did. Yeah. Uh, hang on one second. <laughs> okay. Well, I did talk about the games. Is that oh, what you good. want to do? Yeah. yeah. Well, yeah. It's the we'll go ahead. game is tonight seven at 6 o'clock at okay, the high school in Sequatchie County. Yeah, so um, we were talking about this, so since you're here, it goes, we're winding it down anyway. It's weird. Why are they doing it? Um, like we play Sequatchie County twice, you remember me saying, in December. Early. Like, well, that, that's because, sure that's never happened Because uh, the reason is they want them on Friday nights, and this was the only slot available. Because Friday oh. nights tracks the big crowds. Yeah. Rather than the Tuesday night, which they generally would play on, so Friday night, so it's back to back Friday nights. That's crazy. In in the center. Well, of course. Uh, I mean, I'm just thinking. I don't think it's ever has it ever happened. Not to my knowledge. I I don't think it's I don't think it's ever happened as far as I, I know. Me either. I really don't. I mean, uh, you know, with the uh, with the realignments next year, is that yeah. Monterey will not Monterey and Jackson County will, will not be in the be in the district. We're going to go to a Chattanooga area district next year. So, and we were we used to be in that. Yeah. Uh, they change it so much. Uh, that it's means we're gonna play Tyner and, ba with. Tyner and basketball in Brainerd mm. and that Chattanooga area schools, but that sort of thing. And that sort Seems of thing. like Blitzo always gets the sh the sh toughest toughest districts to play in. I mean, yeah. That's tough. That is. Well, next year in football, we are we we are going to open up opening up at Sequatchie County. So this we're so that's for the first time since '73 that we're playing. Oh, okay, so that had happened in before. In, okay. in, fo in football, but in basketball, as far as I know, as no. I never have had no. a Wetzel Sequatchie matchup in December. But I guess no, of course not. That's something you look forward to later on in the year. So uh, you know. we talked about that earlier. It just. I I'll didn't discuss, realize they were playing each other. Like what, yeah, you need to. Uh, what, yeah. the, what the redistricting will be about and what the realignments are. Yeah. They've already, they already got those things there. Yeah, you and, need to because it confuses people. It, it does. It confuses me too. But uh, It confuses me too. They do it too much, <laughs> Papa. They change it too much. So, But yeah, the, uh, Michael had the call for you guys tonight. Tip off is at 6. Lady Warriors will be first. And then the Warriors against our tribal Sequatchie County and if you don't make it to the game you can listen to it live here on WAT so uh, we invite you to do that folks and we'll see you guys next week so have a great weekend and we'll see you next for a Christmas episode Papa see you folks so long folks hey folks Albert and Billy here you're watching us on channel 18, BTC Fiber. Check us out on BTC Fiber YouTube channel. Be sure to subscribe and like. And check out our Facebook page. Be sure to like and share. Thanks everybody for watching.